graders. This is Eureka Math Module 4, Lesson 19, and our objective is to convert measurements. Yay! Uh, involving whole numbers, solve uh, and solve multi-step word problems. So we could be doing feet to yards, we could be doing ounces to pounds, okay, and we could be doing some metric like centimeters to meters. I don't know yet. Let's go see. Go to your problem set. Okay, name on your paper, and let's start converting. Express your answer as a mixed number if possible. Okay, the first one is done for you. All right, so we want to convert feet into yards for this problem. And how are they doing it? Well, two feet equals two times one foot. Agreed? Okay. And one foot, if this is a yard, and a yard is made up of three feet, right? One foot equals one third of a yard, right? So now we're gonna multiply two times one third, and that gives us two thirds of a yard, okay? I hope you're with me. You know that there are three feet in a yard. If you don't, look it up. Four feet equals how many yards? Okay, so we just said that four feet equals four times one yard. And four times one yard equals one third of a yard. So one foot equals one third of a yard. One foot equals one third of a yard. If you didn't get that from my tape diagram right here, it's the same problem, okay, or the same conversion. So I'm going to put one third here. And four times one third is four thirds yards. But it said use a mixed number if possible, and this is an improper fraction. So I'm going to think of four thirds as three thirds plus one third, okay, equals four thirds. And I know that three thirds is one and one third yards, okay? So one and one third. Okay, good, great. Let's keep going. They're gonna get progressively harder. Inches to feet. Okay, so here's my tape diagram. And it is one foot. And inside it are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve inches. So one inch would be one. 12th, okay, of a foot. Seven in inches equals how many feet? So, seven inches is the same as seven times one inch, okay? So that I can say that this would be seven times one twelfth of a foot because one inch equals one twelfth of a foot, right? So there I just converted. Now I just have to solve seven times one twelfth is seven twelfths, okay, of a foot. My answer is seven twelfths. Mm -hmm. Good, all right. Next one, all right, so this is 13 inches. So 13 inches is the same as 13 times one inch, okay? Which is also the same as 13 times, what did I say one inch is? One twelfth of a foot. So now I can solve 13 times one is 13, and one times 12 is 12. So here is my answer, 13 twelfths, but it, remember it said, Express your answer as a mixed number if possible. I can definitely express 13 twelfths as a mixed number. It would be 12 twelfths plus 1 twelfth, right? So if 12 twelfths is 1, it would be 1 and 1 twelfth of a foot. And my, my label is already there. Okay, ounces and pounds. If you have forgotten 
16 ounces equals one pound. I'm gonna give you that one for free. So here's my pound, and inside it are 16, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ounces, so one ounce would be one sixteenth of a pound equals one ounce, okay? You see how I got this? If this whole thing is one pound, that's a one LB, right? Then one sixteenth equals an ounce because 16 pound ounces go into one pound, okay? So five ounces, is the same as five times one ounce. And five times one ounce, we can say is one sixteenth of a pound. So now I can multiply. Five times one sixteenth is five sixteenths of a pound. Okay, so five sixteenths. All right, same thing here, ounces, pounds. I just said that one ounce was one sixteenth of a pound. Now I've got 18 ounces, and that equals 18 times one ounce. Okay, so I'm going to convert that to pounds right there. And that equals 18 over 16 pounds, but that is an improper fraction. So I can split it into 16 sixteenths and two sixteenths. And in fact, I can even make that one eighth, right? So here I've got one, one and one eighth, one and one eighth of a pound. Good. This isn't so hard. This is okay, as long as you know what this conversion is. And if you don't, then you need to look that up, okay? All right, next one, some story problems. Regina buys 24 inches of trim for a craft project. What fraction of a yard does Regina buy? So we're going to convert 24 inches to yards. So 24 inches into yards. Okay. Well, here's a yard. Ah, that was a terrible line. Try again. Here's a yard. And inside a yard there are three feet. And inside a foot there are 12 inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? And each one of those inches, right? So one inch equals 1 12th of a foot, but now there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, ah, that's a terrible line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know if that's right or not. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll just draw it like this, okay? You know that there's 12 inches inside that foot, 12 inches inside that foot, and 12 inches inside that foot. So one inch here would be one out of 12, 24, 36, okay? So one inch equals 1 36th of a yard. All right, so inches to yards. We're not doing inches to feet, we're doing inches to yards. If it were inches to feet, it'd be 1 12th. But we're going to yards, so it's 1 36th. So, all right, 24 inches equals 24 times 1 inch. Okay, but 1 inch also equals 1 136th of a yard, so that equals 24 times 136th 
which equals, I'm going to move this over here, 24 times 1 is 24, and 24 over, uh, 1 over 36, right there. Okay, yards. What fraction of a yard does Regina buy? 24 36. But we can simplify that, can't we? Let's simplify it by dividing by 12. 12 into 24 is 2. 12 into 36 is 3. Our new fraction is 2 thirds. What fraction of a yard does Regina buy? 2 thirds of a yard. All right, she bought 24 inches, so she bought this whole thing. All right, and you know that that is 2 thirds. Okay. If, uh, if a whole yard of trim costs $6, okay, so a whole yard of trim costs $6, how much did she pay? Well, she didn't buy the whole $6 uh, dollars worth. She only bought two-thirds. So two-thirds times $6 equals 12 over 3. Okay, and that is an improper fraction, so we're going to divide. Top by three is four, and the bottom by three is one, which equals four dollars. Okay, and you know that because two, 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 right? Because we went through a lot of steps for an answer you could probably just see, but I want you to show your work. Okay, so four dollars is the answer there. And I like to put the double zeros because that really shows that it's dollars. At Yo Yogurt, mmm, yogurt, oh, the sprinkles, Mommy, maybe strawberries on top. At Yo Yogurt, the scale says that Sarah has eight ounces of vanilla yogurt in her cup. Her father's yogurt weighs 11 ounces. How many pounds of frozen yogurt did they buy together? Express your answer as a mixed number. Okay, so. The scale says that Sarah has eight ounces, okay, and her father has 11 ounces. How, so we're going to call that, right away, we're going to call that 19 ounces of yogurt. Mmm, frozen yogurt, yummy. How many pounds of frozen yogurt did they buy together? So we're going to have to convert ounces to pounds. Now you remember that one pound, one pound equals 16, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ounces. So one ounce is one sixteenth of a pound, okay? So 19 ounces equals 19 times one ounce which equals 19, now we're going to convert from ounces to pounds, right? right? Pounds times 1 16th of a pound, because 1 ounce equals 1 16th of a pound. Then we can multiply 19 times 1 16th is 19 sixteenths of a pound. And it says, express your answer as a mixed number. So again, I can split that into 16 sixteenths and 3 sixteenths. And this, in fact, I can make into 1. And this, I can, um, can I simplify that? 3 into 16. I don't think I can. Okay, so now I've got 1 and 3 sixteenths of a pound. Remember LB means pound. Pound, pound. Okay. That is a lot of yogurt. It's like a lot. Okay. Feng Shu drinks one cup of milk every day for lunch. How many gallons of does he drink in two weeks? Okay. So how many cups in a gallon? Cups Two gallon. I'm going to admit to you right now that I don't remember because I live in a country where we use metric. So, how many cups in a gallon? 
16 cups. Ah, I did know that. 16 cups to a gallon. 16 cups equals one gallon. So, all right. If he drinks one cup of milk every day for lunch, how many gallons of milk does he drink in two weeks? Okay, so one cup equals one sixteenth of a gallon. All right, if there's 16 in a gallon, I'll show you on a tape diagram here. So this is one gallon, and there's 16 cups in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So one of those would be 1 16th. Okay, one cup is 1 16th of a gallon. And he drinks, how many gallons does he drink in two weeks? Well, this is day to week. Okay, so we're going to have to say... Um, Two weeks would be two weeks equals 14 days because there's seven days in a week, right? That was a first grade skill. Did you know I taught first grade for a year and I had to teach how many days in a week? 14 days. Okay, so now 14 days. This pen today times 1 16th of a gallon is going to tell us how many gallons he drinks in two weeks. Come on, Penn, work with me. I think I need to go slower. It's probably telling me I need to go slower. So 14 times 1 16th is 14 sixteenths. And in fact, I could write that as 7 eighths, right, because I can simplify. So 7, oh, my battery's going, better make this fast. 7 eighths of a gallon, okay. So how much milk? Gallons of milk. Almost a whole gallon in two weeks, not quite seven eighths. Okay, not too bad. This wasn't too bad. There's your homework. Some more of the same conversions. And your exit ticket is right there. Okay, inches to feet, inches to feet, ounces to pounds. So look up those conversions for your exit ticket if you don't know them. And submit when you're done. Okay, have a good night or a good day.